with ocean acidification, we know those chemical reactions very, very well. There is no controversy. If you add CO2 to seawater, you do get a decrease in pH. You do get a, get a decrease in the carbonate ion concentration. It's not controversial. Once in the ocean, this carbon dioxide reacts with water to form carbonic acid. And this carbonic acid can be corrosive to the shells or skeletons of marine organisms. We are putting so much CO2 in the, into the atmosphere that we're changing the, the basic chemistry of the ocean in ways that we, we never thought possible. The atmosphere and the ocean are, are very intimate partners. They communicate with one another all the time, CO2 going from the atmosphere into the ocean and vice versa. And by changing our entire atmosphere, now we're changing our entire ocean. That the ocean is what keeps the atmosphere healthy. It is the lungs of the planet. We used to think that marine organisms wouldn't be damaged until they actually started dissolving. Now we know that carbon dioxide in much lower concentrations can be extremely harmful to some marine organisms. So many of us are concerned that if we continue to pump CO2 into the atmosphere and change the chemistry of the ocean, there will be fundamental changes in our ability to use the ocean as, as food and for its role in regulating the climate. There is definitely an urgency because we're talking about major changes in the ocean chemistry. This is an experiment that you would never want to do. When you view our planet from space, uh, one of its key characteristics is an ocean that stretches across two-thirds of its surface. Now that ocean is not just simply a source of food, it's also important in regulating the very climate in which we try to live in. So once we start to see changes in this life support system, it's become clear that we're now going to change the fundamental way this planet works. This really is planet ocean, and we're now changing the way this planet works. The chemical recovery of the ocean will take tens of thousands of years, but it looks like biology will take much longer. For my PhD dissertation, I studied what happened at the time the dinosaurs became extinct, and there was a, another ocean acidification event at that time. It took hundreds of thousands of years for the open ocean ecosystems to recover. It took about two million years before coral reefs were found growing again on the edges of the continents. So what we do in the next years and decades is going to affect marine life in the ocean potentially for millions of years to come.